Series. Here they come. They're off and trotting, and VC Chipper is gapped way off the gate. He had a bobble coming to the start. There goes Ozzy in action for the early lead, and 50-pound Trout will be away in second. Luxus Image on the inside third, and Brad Meister got a seat from fourth. Here comes on the outside Royal Pocket, but he can't get a hold just yet. He's held out there to the flank of Liberty One around that first turn, then Bronski and Emmett, and VC Chipper is back down trotting and attempting to catch the field. Ozzy in action. Had the quarter in 28 and one. Fifth. 50 pound trout racing along in second. Loxus Image sits third. Brad Meister is fourth. And finally getting a seat was Royal Pocket in fifth position as they sweep over to the back stretch. Liberty won along the inside. Moving third from last is Bronski ahead of Emmett. And back down trotting and trailing is VC Chipper. They move up to the half. Positions are unchanged. Nine of them in single file fashion. Ozzy in action. Making the first half speed. Uh, Ozzy in action. In behind him is 50 pound trout. Brad Meister is first over. Luxus Image stayed to the inside. There goes Royal Pocket. Second over into the top five. 58 and 2 was the half. Brad Meister sweeping up alongside. Ozzy in action onto the final turn. 50 pound trout is third. Royal Pocket is again readying to pounce from second over fourth and he may have to go three wide. There he goes. Luxus Image on the inside is fifth. Liberty one is sixth at the inside, and it's well back to Emmett. The gapped out trailers. VC Chipper has again lost ground. Bronski was off stride on the final turn. They haven't reached Aussie in action yet, but Royal Pocket is stalking three wide off the final turn. 128 and one, three-quarter time down the stretch in the championship final of the Thai Silk Series. Aussie in action, led it for seven eighths, but here comes Royal Pocket off stride. Royal Pocket is off stride tried both halves of the entry in huge trouble. Aussie in action is coming to the wire. Aussie in action goes gate to wire to win the Thai Silk. Second at 99 to one was Emmett. Off stride unofficially Royal Pocket. Then Liberty won unofficially next. 159 and one and oh what a huge shocker in the Thai Silk final. Number five, Aussie in action, is the second race winner and champion of the Thai Silk Series of 2001 from Mohawk Racetrack. An Earl three-year-old bay gelding from Warwee Chinto, homebred of James Moss of Osgood, Ontario, co-owner Deanna Moss, trained and driven to victory by Clay Moss. Second and sixth this year, lifetime race record of 159-1 and one for Aussie in action to win the Thai Silk Series final. Making the trophy presentation in Mohawk's winner's circle. Mr. Jamie Martin, Vice President of Standard Red Racing for the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit. Welcome back. The man even admits it himself. Clay Moss says it's a shocker here as he gets the job done with Aussie in action. I turned over qualifiers this morning. First guy I saw was Clay Moss, and he said, you know, that's going to be a great tie silk final. I guess you were right. Yeah, I was predicting a really good race. I thought it was going to be very competitive, and uh, and my horse, uh, I was very proud with of his performance tonight, and uh, it was a good race all the way to the end, I thought. His handiness off the gate came in handy this evening. Uh, you were able to make the front. Did you ever have visions, though, of being the leader all the way? You know, to three quarters, say. Um, I thought I'd be cl really close at the three quarters, if not on the front. Um, I wasn't going to give uh, the lead off uh, to the favorites uh, as a gift or nothing like that. I was planning on giving them a good push, and uh, but he sailed all the way. You've had some tough luck with this horse. Uh, he fell down out here, actually going out to warm up a couple weeks ago, and you said you had a problem with the curb this week. One thing after another, but he's pulled it through. Yeah, well, he, he's a goofy horse. Uh, some people saw in the post parade he kind of had a little, little action going on there with misbehaving. But uh, overall, he's a well-behaved horse. But uh, you know, he, he's going to have his little little things over the summer. But you know, I hope he puts a lot of money on his card. Got all kinds of OSS events. Uh, tell us what his next month is going to involve. Does he get some downtime now? He's going to get uh, a couple weeks off, freshen up. You'll probably see the non-winners of two right before the first gold. Hey, Clay Moss had a good trotting cold last year. His name was Trax, and it looks like you've got another one to fill the void here. Aussie to action. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. 
There's a look at this year's Thai Silk Trotting Champion. Let's get a look at the mutual prices. No show wagering here, but some dandy prices nonetheless.